I always wanted to be famous. One day I met this producer and he promised me millions if I recorded a song in his studio. Actually, my story is pretty funny. I just started working as a lawyer and even though I was miserable and tired, I was so sure that this was the thing that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I am a child of divorce. My parents began their divorce process 16 years ago and ended it nine years later. Long process, huh? During all those seven years, I couldn't survive all the cows. I was worried that my wife was sick because she was seeing the doctor very often. Turns out she was hitting me with him. I was replaced. I was so angry and pathetic. One minute, I thought I had it all. Of course I accepted. Later, I became his girlfriend. Being famous is like a poison. After time, I loved it even more. I got my rocker style, you know, just that people could focus on me more. My sister had a small dance studio near my apartment and I usually went there to help her with her students and so... I lost my boyfriend. Depression hit me hard and I started drugs. I had to pick sides. I wasn't able to rely on them. I became anxious and insecure. They used to tell me, follow your heart. But if your heart is in a million pieces, which piece do you follow? A fine job, a great wife and kids, and the next minute, I had nothing. I didn't recognize myself what I'd become. My temper had gotten worse, and I was losing it over the smallest things. There's nothing more painful than seeing the one you love move on, seeing her joke around with him, like she did with you, and seeing her kissing him, and knowing that she doesn't give you a second thought. It's hard to forget someone who gave you a lot to remember. Even my kids didn't want to stay with me. But then, I started to do things I didn't like. People were telling me what to wear, what to say, what to do, forcing me. One day, my sister had some stuffs to do and left me her dance students. I started to show them some moves and later I had to get at work, but I totally forgot. I had like 30 missed calls and messages and as I was running to get to work, I stopped and asked myself, if today was the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do? And two minutes later, I found myself in that small dance studio. I didn't know where I belonged. I was not smart enough, not strong enough, not skinny, fancy, rich enough, just not enough. I needed a parent, not a part-time visitor with a checkbook. I just wanted to feel safe. I felt so hopeless. I started to lose everything. It was 2 a.m. and I couldn't sleep, uh, wondering why wasn't I good enough. So I got my usual drink and I got in my son's bedroom. He had this drawing desk and I started to play with his brushes. An hour later, I saw myself shoving paintings with brushes and half of them got broken. You know, lately uh, I wasn't capable of expressing my feelings or emotions in word. They wouldn't let me get home. 
I faced a lot of difficulties until I got that one chance to leave. But even my family didn't accept me. I was all alone. I was broken, lost. All I had with me were the lyrics of the songs I used to sing. I started reading them and they were nothing. Just a piece of shit. In the blank space of that paper, I started to write the songs I wanted to sing from the bottom. In that time, when I was blind to see what was really going on, one good thing about the music, when it hits you, you feel no pain. But that night, something changed. I was able to show my feelings in some rambling paintings, and after months, I felt free. Until the day I joined this drama club, I felt I'm a part of something. Something I never felt before. The best thing I ever did for myself is to keep pushing, even though I feel like ending my life at times. It's me who is my enemy, me who beats me up, me who makes the monsters, me who strips my confidence. Music calls my soul, it takes me to another place, away from my problems. Music is my painkiller. Although it can be a challenge, you do get used to it and learn to live with it. I have learned to deal with my depression and I'm proud of it. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and revisit that happy place in my head. I don't even know what makes me happy anymore. Sometimes the worst place you can be is in your own head. Every time I want a case as a lawyer, I had this victory dance that I used to do it alone at my office. It's hard to stand up when no one gives you a hand and when you feel like the world is against you and you are looking for someone true, someone who can change the sadness when the whole world puts you down. The plays we did, the audience cheering for us, all those clapping, I was starting to forget everything. I learned to cope, to grow strong, to believe in myself instead of joining in my parents' drama and become a victim. I felt joy. I figured out that taking a step backward, after taking a step forward, it's not a disaster, it's more like a cha-cha. Now, I enjoy each step along the way. There are shortcuts to happiness, and totally dancing is one of them. I don't bounce out of bed in the morning, but I've come a long way, and I'm not giving up. I'm proud of my heart. It has been cheated, played, stabbed, and broken. But somehow, it still works. And when it all comes down to it, it's just me and music against the world, always has been. Music saved my life and music saves me still. <laughs>